Hello student instructor here, John Medulla with another screencast. This one about brochures. Not so much about um, how to design them. I think you're creative, you can figure out ways to do that. Uh, but more about how to just get set it up to get started so you don't have to do a lot of measuring ahead of time. If you're going to use Illustrator, follow this. If you're going to use InDesign, watch the other video that I'm going to make. So I'm just going to file new from template. I'm going to see a folder called blank template to open that up. And I'll see one called brochure.ait, new on that. And then it'll load up right here. You can see this is the brochure outside, three panels, and the brochure inside, three panels. So it's already divided that out for me. I don't have to do any measure or anything like that. Now, if I were you, what I would do is I would make myself just little, um, little notes so I know exactly where I am. I'll go here, and I would type front. It's off the page, so no one's going to see it anyway. Through the back. This is the inside flap. Okay. And if I had that, I'll just take all these and drag and drop them this way. And this I would call inside left. This would be inside middle and inside right. Now, when you design your, um, when you're laying out your brochure, you don't need to make like, oh, I mean for some things like the front and back panel, you need to be cognizant of stuff that only shows in the front or only shows in the back, but especially the inside here, you don't have to make it seem like left, middle, right. This is just marker for you to know where you are on the page. You can certainly have an image that goes, you know, you can certainly have an image that goes all the way across like this. And it has like text, 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 or whatever. You know what I mean? You can get creative. You can have, you know, maybe one big image here that takes up the whole thing. And then over here, you're going to have like text, 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 text. You get the idea. Um, actually, this wouldn't be the best because you don't usually want text to go over the fold, but you could have stuff like this, where it's picture here, text, text. All right? Or maybe it's picture there. Maybe this is all another picture here, and then it's text text. So you can get creative with your three page or three panels on the inside, especially. On the front, you're probably just gonna want, you know, a big image and some text here. In the back gives you a bunch of contact information or check out the website or stuff like that. And the inside flap gives you kind of like additional information like hey, new deal or coupon or something like that, or save ten percent. So that's if you can use Illustrator to lay out your brochure. If you have any questions, let me know when you're done and you want to go to save as. Make sure it's an Illustrator file. Um, I also urge you to, after you create your Illustrator file, save a copy and go to PDF and set that to smallest file size PDF in the PDF dialog and submit just the PDF. That way it'll keep all your fonts true to what you wanted them to be and it'll load, it should load a lot faster for you. That's all I got. If you're using InDesign, stay tuned for the next video.